Hi everyone, Jordan from NTech here. Today we're going to go over some of the feature changes with the new S Play 1.3.0 firmware update. Please note that the 130 firmware update is a one way update, and any S Plays upgraded to this new firmware version should not be downgraded. First off, if you already have some playlists saved, you'll notice a new and improved UI. The playlist widget on the homepage has been updated with the fresher, clearer look. Brightness per playlist is now indicated on these sliders. And when we click play, you'll notice that time is expressed down to the millisecond. We can start, stop and pause as usual. The edit button icon has been updated to a pencil icon. And clicking edit brings us to the playlists tab where we will see more visual updates. There's more color icons here to help classify the different building blocks like dynamic cues and triggers. The playlist create function is streamlined. So now if you want to create a playlist while you already have one selected, simply click on the plus icon here and step through the workflow. You'll want to name your playlist. And as usual, we have the start and stop trigger options. Loop count has been renamed to play count for clarity. If you have infinity selected, your playlist will loop indefinitely once activated. Otherwise, you can select integer play counts between one and 100. So for example, if you select 10, your playlist will play through 10 times before stopping. We have the same internal priority and group settings as before, so you can still use that to set how your shows will play when you have multiple shows playing at once. You'll notice we have this new hide from home button. This allows you to select whether or not you'll allow this playlist to be visible from the home page. When I select this setting and save my test playlist, it will enable as a playlist in the playlist tab, but when we move to the home page, you'll notice it doesn't appear in the playlist widget. This neat little feature helps in installations where certain end users may need to log into the S Play to remotely edit or change shows. By using the hide feature, you're able to trim the available playlist to operators to simply what is necessary, whilst still keeping a list of playlists for testing or special events. We've also removed the delete from home page feature so that certain end users or operators can't accidentally delete important playlists from the home page. One of the slickest new features in the latest release is the fade in, fade out option. When editing a playlist, we'll see the fade in and fade out settings above the playlist editor here. I can enter in a two second fade in and the graphic will adjust accordingly. Or I can drag the fade setting and set my fade time this way. Let's see what this looks like on a real show. Here's what my default noise flow playlist looks like. And here's what it looks like with the two second fade in and fade out on loop. In addition to being able to fade in and fade out on the playlist, we also have the fade setting on our cues. Here I'm editing a playlist and I've clicked on my dynamic cue in the workspace. You can see the fade in and fade out settings pop up just above. Again, I can enter a time value for the fade in duration manually or I can click and drag the fade setting graphic here to set my fade time. Let's now see what this looks like with an actual show. In this test playlist, I've dragged in a dynamic cue in the first row and a second dynamic cue on the second row. There's a little bit of overlap between the two, which gives me some room to fade in and fade out between each. Here's what it looks like without any fade in. There is a short, sharp transition from one show directly into the other. Now, here's the same playlist with two seconds of fade in and two seconds of fade out time. With both of these dynamic cues, there is now a much smoother transition from one to the other. And that's it for the new S Play version 1.3.0 update. We hope you enjoy the new fade in fade out feature as well as the important user interface upgrades. 
Let us know down in the comments section on your thoughts on this update or if there are any extra features that you would like added in upcoming revisions. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this video useful. If you have any more questions, you can also use the comment section for that. Don't forget to check out our social media pages and stay tuned for more S plays, octos and dots and more helpful and tech tips.